Hello everyone, this is Robert. This is an Ortur Laser Master 3, and this little thing up here is my um, custom made DIY laser power meter. Um, it's used to actually measure how much laser power a laser module is putting out. You can use this for CO2 or diode lasers. And I figured with all these uh, laser reviews I'm doing, I might as well break this out and test these out and see if they're actually putting out the power that they state they are. So let's do that. Currently in my shop right now, I have this Ortur Laser Master 3 as well as the Creality Falcon. Both of these are supposed to be 10 watt laser diodes. And I'm really only saying that because at this point, I don't know, maybe they are, maybe they aren't. We will see. Before we get into that, uh, feel free to use the chapter, skip around if you want to just go right to that and don't care about what I'm going to say next. This is my little laser power meter, and the way it works is actually quite simple. You basically take this la laser, you point it at that for a set period of time, and it will create a temperature increase. That laser power or that energy is going to go into this little puck of aluminum. It's going to raise the temperature. There is a thermocouple temperature sensor that is embedded inside of this. It is then read by this mess of electronics. And basically what happens is in 41 seconds, that's what this is calibrated towards, in 41 seconds, one degree temperature raise on this is going to equal one watt of power. So theoretically in the 41 seconds, this laser pointed at this at 100% power should raise the overall temperature of this by 10 degrees Celsius. It's pretty much that simple. In the uh, description down below, I have a more detailed description of this whole thing, but that's pretty much um, all there is to it. We're just basically trying to heat this up to a known amount, measure that, and see what happens and see what that correlates to in terms of laser. So yeah, let's do exactly that. So here is the setup. I've got the puck situated directly underneath the laser head. The laser head's a little bit defocused and that's exactly what we want. If this was focused, it would just sit there and cut and engrave into that. And we don't really want that. We just want the laser power to hit it and it being defocused is not a problem whatsoever. Um, I've got Lightroom set up to do just kind of a series of concentric circles. That lasts exactly 41 seconds, which is what we want. And then we're just gonna go ahead and reset this. It does jump around just a little bit. So we'll just go ahead and reset that. And then all we have to do is hit start and it will do its thing. So as you can see, we actually got 10 degrees temperature rise. It went from 20 up to 30, which is exactly 10 watts. Unfortunately, the granularity of this really isn't that great. I only have it set to measure in whole wattage because it's really made for like 60 watt CO2 lasers. But yeah, that's impressive. Perfect 10 watts, not bad. Here is the Creality Falcon, which is also a 10 watt laser. I've got this cooled back down to room temperature, placed underneath, and the lens cleaned on this. I also cleaned it on the Ortur as well, just for best results. So um, let's go ahead and test this out and see if we can get 10 watts out of the Creality as well. So we'll see if it increases any more. Sometimes just the thermal mass, it takes a little bit of time to kind of creep up, but it looks like we're at nine watts. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one more time just because the temperature was bouncing around a little bit in the beginning. So yeah, let me um, cool this off. I just dunk it in some water and we'll do this one more time, but it doesn't seem to be as powerful as the Ortur. And here's the second test with the Creality Falcon. So 
So nine watts again, um, I'm not really gonna hold that against the Creality. Um, nine watts is still pretty close to its rated 10 and the granularity of this really isn't all that good. It's probably plus or minus one watt. So that is close enough, but the Ortur definitely seems to be a little bit more powerful. So yeah, pretty interesting to answer the kind of clickbait question, is your laser producing the power it should? Probably. Um, the Creality seemed to be a little bit lower than the Ortur. I did a couple more times and I could really never get it beyond 9 watts. And you saw in that last test, it almost kind of started out right at a watt, but that's kind of the nature of the granularity of this thing. This was originally designed to test up to about a 100 or 120 watt CO2 laser. The energy output is very similar, so it's not like the type of laser really changes all that much, but it's made for a much, much higher power output, so just something to keep in mind. But yeah, I was pretty surprised to see that, generally speaking, a 10-watt laser will produce about 10 watts, um, especially with the Ortur, which definitely felt a little bit more powerful when I was using it. So. There is um, a couple links down below for the build on this whole thing, as well as a further explanation on how it works, which is kind of interesting. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video and go out and buy some dial lasers. See you again. Thanks.